Hey there, and welcome to my spoiler of you review of Hocus Pocus 2. So yeah, hey guys. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a movie review, which I'm actually going to start doing more of, I think. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to be talking about Hocus Pocus 2, which just dropped on September 30th, so yesterday. I watched it last night with my family, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I kind of just want to talk about how I felt about it and, you know, how it lives up. So, um, first of all, I love the fact that they brought back the original actors. I think that was, you know, of course, they, they had to have done that because I think a lot of people would have been upset if they hadn't. But yes, uh, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy and Jimmy are all back. As Winifred, Sarah, and, uh, of course, Mary Sanderson. And so, um... Now, let's kind of dive into, like, the uh, movie. So, remember, this is a spoiler, so please be aware of that. Um, but first, um, let's go into, um, so, um, we actually get a backstory of the Sanderson sisters at the very beginning. And we get a very nice, uh, Disney logo that's customized for it, which is really cool. But we get a story of the Sanders sisters, Sanderson sisters, as, as they were, um, banished from Salem by, um, Reverend Trask in 1653 and then they tried to escape into the woods where they met um an evil witch played by hannah um i i want to say waddington i think let me know in the comments i believe that's her name um but anyway she gives winifred the spell book and they cast a spell and then we flash forward to present day 2022 so it's been 29 years since the events of the first movie and, um, so basically what happens is these two girls named Becca and, um, Izzy, um, what happens is they end up getting a black flamed candle, which sends, uh, the Sanderson sisters back and they do a nice dance number and singing number called The Witches Are Back, which I think is a very good song, actually. I mean, I, they did a good job and that comes in later on so um but yeah so the sanderson sisters are back and of course they want revenge but they still want to look young and so uh becca kind of tells them about like the bath and uh beauty works that we have now and you know like because i think um you know so they go take them to walgreens and they try it on we get a very funny scene where they look in the mirror and they see themselves it's one of those mirrors that makes you look all weird looking and you know it's there, there's a picture right there so that that was a really funny scene i laughed a lot during this movie and after that they of course go after them but they can't after because when they're in the store the girls um they put salt around them so they can't do it but it doesn't hit the salt it hits Becca, which comes in on, uh, comes in important later on, but, um, anyways, after that, um, they, they try to find something to fly on, so Winnie, of course, has the broom, then Sarah has a Swiffer, which is kind of like the modern day mop, and then we see, um, Mary riding two Roombas, which are basically the modern day vacuums, which is really funny, which those two things, those things come, um, important later on as well, so, <clears throat> And then they approach the guy who gave them the candle, named Gilbert, played by Sam Richardson. And um, so basically, he wanted to bring the sisters back because he felt that they were, like, misjudged and, you know, they weren't treated fairly. Clearly not knowing of about how dangerous they really are because he ends up being threatened by them. And he they say they have to... He, they give him this task to get these uh, materials for their spell that they need to use, and he has to get them done in an hour or he will be killed, which, of course, frightens him. And one of those things is the head of a lover. And Winifred's lover, supposedly, is Billy Butcherson. We learned that Billy actually was never interested in Sarah and Winnie. Um, they only shared one kiss, and he was actually in love with Sarah. And, um, <clears throat> so what happens? So, yes, Billy is back, played once again by Doug Jones. I'm glad that they brought back the original actor. And so he gets dug up. And, um, so what happens is he sticks the shovel in, and then Billy pops out. And then Billy helps him 
because um, Gilbert actually lies to him, saying that he wants to kill them, even though he's kind of technically helping them to save himself. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this movie um, continues on as um, we go through um, many things. Um, one of the important things is friendship in this. So um, the two girls have this friend named Cassie who they uh, who are kind of estranged from. Um, and she come, has a very important part in it. So basically what happens is they end up teaming up because, uh, Winnie and the other Sanderson sisters are after them at this point. They're, they're wanting to get revenge. And then, of course, they have that, that big, um, number, like how in the original Hocus Pocus, it was, I put a spell on you. And this, it's one way or another, which is really awesome. I love that performance. And so basically, um, <clears throat> the Sanderson sisters are after Cassie because um, she's a blood relative of the Reverend who banished them, and um, who was played by Tony Hale, and her dad is also played by Tony Hale, which is how they find out. And then what happens is um, towards the end of the film, uh, they get to the woods, and uh, Winnie casts the spell. But she doesn't, she didn't read the warning on it. The spell that she's using is actually like a forbidden um, thing. And what happens is she ends up, um, she didn't read the warning on it. Which me, and the warning says that she does the spell, she will lose what she values most. And in that case, it's her sisters. So after she does that spell, her sisters start, you know, uh, Sarah and Mary, they start disappearing. And they disappear the same way how they did in the original Hocus Pocus. Uh, Mary does her bye-bye. And then uh, Sarah does that kind of pose where she says goodbye. in that kind of like dramatic way. <clears throat> and then what happens is they end up helping Winifred get her get back to her sisters. They send them to her and the witches are gone. And then uh, Billy is also free too. Now that they're gone, he disappears into eternal rest. And then what happens is, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much the end, but then there's two credit scenes, so make sure you stay for those. One of them is the sisters performing um, The Witches Are Back in a recording studio, which, yeah, it sounds weird, but it's really funny. And then um, the, that, the last one, the end credit scene, shows a black cat. It's not Thackeray Binks, though. I will say that. It's not him. Sorry to disappoint you, but it's not him. And then... Um, <clears throat> so what happens is the the cat jumps up and there's a second candle still left. And so, and that's how it ends. So we don't know if there's going to be another one or not, but <clears throat> that's how it ends. But I have to say, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought, I thought it lives up to, I think it lives up to the original. I really think it does. Some people, I'm sure, disagree with me on that. Um, but I thought it was a very well done sequel. It was especially after it being nearly three decades after the original re was released, because the original was released back in 1993, so which is 29 years ago. And um, I'm glad they released it on Halloween this time, because for those who don't know, for some reason, back when the first film was released in 1993, they released it in July, which totally messed up its box office numbers, because at that time, Jurassic Park was in the theater, and obviously Jurassic Park was going to get... A lot more, you know, people coming in to see it because, you know, it was a big movie then and still is now. But, um, <clears throat> so what happens is, um, they, they ended up not making as much money, I think, as they hoped. But I'm glad that they, um, they did it right this time and they had to actually come out around Halloween time, which is what they should have done originally. But, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I really enjoyed the songs in this. I love the love. I laughed so many times during this. The Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy and the Jimmy have to give them praise on their performance. Um, even the actors who played uh, the girls Becca and Izzy and Cassie, they did a tremendous job. Um, they they for for young actors, you know, a lot of movies they cast actors who are like bad at acting but they you know but these uh these actors are actually really really good so i'm glad that they found um good actors to play those characters because they did a, a tremendous job 
and um, the songs were great, sets were great. I love the effects. The effects were really amazing, really um, good update from 1993. But um, yeah, so I I really enjoy. It. I encourage you all to go and watch it. I think I it was worth it. I've I've watched it twice already, and today's October first, and I watched it today, and I watched it yesterday. I really enjoyed it. So I encourage you guys to go see uh, Hocus Pocus on Disney Plus, Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus 2 on Disney Plus. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this spoiler review of Disney's Hocus Pocus 2. And um, <clears throat> it is a shame that the original actors didn't return. Um, I know that Thora Birch, who played Danny, was approached to do it, but she couldn't do it due to scheduling conflicts. So she reluctantly turned it down. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we do see a small appearance with them, though. There is a small appearance of Allison and uh, Danny and uh, Max. So there, it's not the same actors, but you see them for a second in the movie. But don't worry, uh, it's still really good. And this is my first of uh, movie reviews I'm doing on this channel. So I hope um, <clears throat> you guys enjoy it. I'm hoping to do some more movie reviews soon. There's several movies coming out. So I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you next time on another video. All right. So um, again, thank you for watching and yeah. Bye guys. Thank you so much.